Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Book Chat Kids. Tonight I'm going to be chatting with you about a new graphic novel that is called Miss Quinces. It is by Kat Fajardo and it is in our collection. It's a very good graphic novel but it's kind of um, between a uh, older elementary middle school book and a teen book. The main character in it is 15 and she is going to be celebrating her quinceanera. Um, but there's nothing too heavy hitting in the book so that's why I think it would be good for middle school and upper elementary school students as well as teenagers. The book follows the main character Sue and her family. She is living in New York but she her family is from Honduras and they are going there for the summer to visit her family and her grandmother who is not in very good health. And when they arrive, Sue finds out that her mom has planned a surprise quinceanera for her and that she needs to start preparing for it. And she is very reluctant to do this. Um, it's something that she doesn't want. She's not, she doesn't think of herself as a girly girl and she thinks that quinceaneras are just for girly girls. She hates the color pink and her mom bought her a pink quince dress. Um, and so there's just a lot of tension between her and her mother as she's trying to figure out if this is something that she wants to do or not. At the same time, she is learning more about her family in Honduras, and she's learning more about her cousins and her abuelita, and learning more about the traditions in her family and her background. So like I said, it's a very fun graphic novel, very bright colors, um, and talks a lot about the traditions behind a quinceanera. Some criticism that I read online said that there is not a big distinguishing um, point between what a uh, quinceanera in Honduras might look like versus what it might look like in Mexico and so some readers online were saying that the traditions that were gone through in the book were not something that they were familiar with having gone through um, a more traditionally Mexican quinceanera and they wished that the author had added in some information about different traditions instead of making it seem like the traditions in the book were um, relevant to all quinceaneras. So I thought that was very interesting as somebody who did not celebrate a quinceanera and I've never actually been to one. It was interesting to hear that just like most everything, there could be um, country differences, regional differences, um, cultural differences in, in something that kind of gets generalized. So I, I do wish that had been explored a little bit more. Um, here's a really good picture on the back that kind of sums up the action in the book of Sue and her family and them all trying to get her ready for her quince. So again, that is Miss Quinces, and it is in our collection. Uh, if you have any books that you'd like to recommend, please let us know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.